So I've been looking for uh, gimbals to use for my Canon camera for a very long time and I've been reading online, looking for recommendations, asking friends and family, asking people. So I ran, in, I ran into these products. Uh, the name is Feitec AK2000S handheld gimbal. It comes with a stabilizer that you can hold. And um, this is it. And I want you guys to join me to unbox it. So let's see what's inside and um, see how it looks on the camera, okay? <laughs> what it looks like you see as you can see the set comes with a versatile arm it also has intelligent touch screen uh, three axis motor lock and quick release so yeah let's let's pop it open That looks really nice. Okay. So first of all, I'm taking this out. Wow. Whoa. Wow, this is nice. This is really, really nice. So they give me a handle where I can put here as well. Just hold it like this. See? Just hold it like this. Wow, this is really, really nice. So what is this? Let's see what this is. Oh, some of the things that you can use to connect and stuff. Wow, this is really nice. Okay. So we've just confirmed that this is the item that we ordered. So right now I'm going to turn and use my phone to record this while I use my camera to practice and see how it looks like. So let me use my phone to record this. So, I had to pull out my camera, um, so let's fix this and see how it looks like, okay? First of all, I'm going to show you how you're going to fix this. Um, Alright, so the first thing you have to do is to take this out, this little thing, and then put it here. This is where you clip the camera, the base to the gimbal. I know my audio will be bad because I'm using my phone, but it's okay. So you want to make sure that you screw this in very tight because you don't want your camera to, you know, fall on the ground while you're, you're shooting or running with, with the gimbal. Make sure it's fitted in. Um, yeah. And then they have this. They have this so what you do is to attach the base this is the base that we'll use to balance the gimbal attach the base to this it's still cold and they just delivered it in the snow so it's still cold it's still cold all right so yeah let's do this i don't have to shift this over all right so you want to unlock everywhere Unlock all this. Unlock this one. Unlock this one as well. All right. Then lock it here. Okay. Lock it here as well. All right. Lock it here. Because this is the base that you're going to put the camera, right? And then lock it here. And also lock it at this side. 
So once we lock everywhere, you want to fix this in so that it faces this way, right? Real quick. There you go. So that's in. And then I'll lock it because I don't want it to fall out, right? This is where the camera is going to sit. So you bring the camera out with this base. You sit it on it. And then with that knob that I show you has to face you, right? You clip it, clip it, and then tighten it. All right, once you tighten it, now it's time for us to balance the camera. So we're going to balance it by checking where this is, bringing it back a little bit. All right. No, it's not supposed to do that. So we're going to, there you go. All right, yeah, we got that fixed. All right, let's balance this side as well. Okay, so you have to balance it so that it doesn't fall that way. Uh, we'll screw this, put this a little more. You see, there's a small thread here. So you push it in a little bit, push it in a little bit. Once you push it in, you see, the balance is getting there. And you push it in a little bit. Okay. All right. There you go. All right, so it's time for us to balance this side. This side is a little bit tricky. You have to bend the camera this way. Once you bend it this way, this is how you balance this side and then make sure everything is flat because when you're turning it, you want everything to turn right. All right, let's see. You release it. And then you also release this one as well, unlock it. See, once you unlock, that's, that's not balanced, right? So let's see. Let's see. That's too much. A little bit. Yeah, that's okay. What we'll have to do now is to turn it on and see what it looks like. So there is a turn on button here. You press it for a few seconds and it turns on. And once it turns on, the camera balance. There's a button here, if you tap it three times, it turns the camera for you to take a selfie. So, if you tap it three times again, to return back. There are also buttons here in this display for you to play around, do stuff, you know, just, it's really, it's really cool. It is really, really, really amazing. It is really, really nice. Yeah, it's really, really nice. All right. Um, well, that's all. Um, so they have, they have also this attachment where you could, you can put it here and handle the camera as well. And then they have also, it's USB where you can mount plug here. I haven't used this place for now, but um, when I shoot the video, I will do another video to review and show you how the shot from the gimbal looks like. But so far, so good. It's worth investing. I'll also drop uh, in the description, I'll put where you get this gimbal. I'll also put every details you need to know about this amazing product so just drop a comment subscribe if you haven't let me know what you think about this gimbal and then if you've used it before let me share your experience with me as well 
and then um in subsequent video you'll see me using this so